Hello everyone and um, welcome back to the Math Puzzle Crash Course. We've got a problem here um, that has some mixed operations in it. Um, it's a fairly simple problem again, but um, I did want to go over this one just because um, I've seen a lot of mistakes made on this one and um, I wanted to just go through that um, real quickly if I could. Uh, the problem is 400 divided by 200 times 2 uh, equals what? Uh, and again, if you want to pause the video here, uh, we can come back and work through this one together uh, if you'd like. And um, now some of you probably already did it in your head, but uh, we'll come back and do this one together. All right, so... First of all, I just want to go back and review um, the basic idea of the order of operations. Um, and I will say right off the, right off uh, the top here that um, we have the obelisk being used here, which is our little horizontal line and the dots above and below it. And um, I think it was Johann Rao back in the 1600s. Um, there, there used to be an old interpretation on the obelisk and um, in that interpretation, everything to the left is considered in a numerator and everything to the right in a denominator. Um, so if you were to base it on that old interpretation, you'd basically have, uh, uh, you know, 400 divided by 400. Uh, but that that is a very, very old interpretation. Um, the way that we look at the order of operations uh, is that um, multiplication and division have equal precedence and they're just solved. Uh, left to right. Uh, so in this case, we've got the division before the multiplication going left to right. So we solve the division first. I'm going to get into some other things in a little bit because there's a lot of confusion over this. Um, first of all, the order of operations. Uh, if you're if you're in North America, the typical way you're you're taught this is uh, some people are taught through an acronym like PEMDAS. P E M uh, as in Mary and D A S P E M D E S PEMDAS, uh, which is parentheses and then exponents and then multiplication and division left to right, and then finally addition and subtraction left to right. Um, the thing to keep in mind here is that multiplication and division have equal precedence, uh, and you just solve those left to right. There's not one that has precedence over the other. A lot of people get really confused. And when they see six letters, P-E-M-D-A-S, they automatically assume that multiplication is done before division, always. Uh, there's, no, there's no reason for that. That's not a thing that was never taught that way. But people forget what the acronyms stand for. Um, and multiplication, again, division is nothing more than multiplying by a reciprocal. So it's the same operation, really. Uh, this has, has identical... Uh, Precedence and then addition and subtraction is the same thing. Subtraction is just adding a negative number. So it's the same operation, really, uh, the same precedence. So um, now a lot of people watching uh, may be from the UK or uh, other parts of the world where they may be more familiar with a different acronym called BODMAS, B-O-D-M-A-S. Uh, it's really the same as PEMDAS. It's just using some different terminology. Um, and actually, I kind of like this one because it's brackets, uh, orders, a division, and multiplication left to right. Once again, in this third step, um, division and multiplication have equal precedence. So just because Bodmus writes the D before the M, it doesn't mean that division uh, has precedence over multiplication. I will see a lot of people say, well, this is confusing. You've got PEMDAS, and then you've got Bodmus, and I get two different answers. Well, if you understand what those acronyms mean, you shouldn't get two different answers. But the problem is, people memorize the letters and they don't understand the concepts. Division and multiplication have equal precedence. You just solve them left to right. And the same with addition and subtraction. There's really no difference. Now, orders, I kind of like the use of orders, honestly. I grew up learning PEMDAS, but when you say parentheses and then exponents, well, exponents is just one part of it, really. Exponents doesn't tell you everything. Um, if you really orders is kind of a general term that includes exponents, 
but it also includes things like square roots and factorials. Basically, you want to look at step two as anything that is shorthand for repeated multiplication. Uh, because, you know, think about it. Brackets are nothing more than grouping symbols. Parentheses, they're just nothing more than grouping symbols. If you don't have them, you don't toss out the order of operation. You're going to look for things like exponents, square roots, factorials, uh, things like that. Uh, things that are shorthand for repeated multiplication. Uh, and then after solving those, you look for your multiplication and division going left to right. Uh, and why do you do that? Well, that's easy because multiplication is shorthand for repeated addition. So you need to resolve that multiplication before you do addition and subtraction. It's, it's pretty simple. It's a pretty basic concept, uh, but that gets lost in a lot of people who just memorize uh, an acronym, and I see it all the time. Uh, and again, there's no difference between PEMDAS and BODMAS. There's also BIDMAS and BEDMAS. There's some variations on the acronyms, but again, those all mean the same thing. Um, here, like I said, we would do the division first because we encounter that first going left to right. 400 divided by 200 is 2. 2 times 2 is 4. Um, and you can enter this into your cell phone calculator. Uh, or a scientific calculator, uh, basically any calculator that works in expression mode. Um, I don't want to get into the subject of calculators because there are uh, very cheap calculators that can only process one operation when you hit the equal sign, uh, and there's uh, uh, they work in what's known as immediate execution mode, and that includes things like the standard mode calculator on a Windows computer. If you switch it over to scientific mode, you can enter an entire expression, then hit the equal sign, and then you're going to get the correct answer. Uh, so a lot of people don't understand how to use a calculator correctly, and they may get an answer of 1 and think it's correct. Uh, and again, I've mentioned this before, but multiplication is just shorthand for repeated addition. And again, division is equivalent to multiplying by a reciprocal. Now, you can look at this, you know, all of these answers, you still get four. Remember, I mentioned that division is nothing more than multiplying by a reciprocal. So if I say 400 divided by 200, it's the same thing as saying 400 times 1, 200. <clears throat> so I could write it this way, and maybe it becomes more obvious to people why the answer is four when you make it all multiplication, because 400 times 1, 200 is what? It's 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And it doesn't matter what order you arrange this in. I could move this uh, multiplication all around. I could say 400 times 2 times 1 200th. Well, 400 times 2 is 800. 800 times 1 200th is 4. So you can see that it doesn't matter how you arrange these. I could arrange these any way. Uh, and you're still going to get the answer of 4. So I hope this helps uh, people understand why the answer is 4 here. Uh, again, I did bring up the case of the old interpretation of the obulus. You know, there's some <clears throat> places where they actually recommend not using the obulus anymore because of some of, the, some of those old interpretations. But um, if you're looking at order of operations, this is how it's done. Um, but uh, if someone tells you, well, no, the answer is 1 because... PEMDAS says you have to do the multiplication first. Uh, you have to take 200 times 2 is 400, and then you do the division. Well, if they're using that as a as a reason, that's incorrect. So I uh, just wanted to cover that real quick. I know this is a very simple problem, and I kind of went on about it, but um, I'm hoping that I've instilled some of the concepts of why the answer is, is solved the way that it is. So I uh, hope the video has been helpful. Uh, please consider liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm trying to make that push towards 1,000 subscribers. We're already over 500, and the channel's only been around now for maybe a year and a half. So uh, I'm hoping to reach that 1,000 mark here uh, sometime soon. So uh, I'd love your help in doing that. Again, have a great day, and hope to see everybody in the next video.